in front, shot, saved by the front rebound. They score! They score! They score! Michael Stern has put the Sharks in the lead. This is unbelievable. Before there was Team Teal, before there was Thornton, Urbe, Marlowe, Nolan, Falloon, and before there was the tank, there was only a dream. The city of San Jose voted to build what is now HP Pavilion. There was a lot of discussion at that time as to what was going to end up in HP Pavilion. And a lot of people thought the Warriors were going to move here. And that was kind of the feeling. Current Sharks broadcaster Randy Hahn was vice president of Pro Hockey San Jose, a grassroots group who held their first meeting at this downtown San Jose pizza parlor. They were poised to bring an NHL franchise to the Silicon Valley, despite the league's reluctance to expand. Another big obstacle at that time, and we're talking about 1989, 1990, was the lack of awareness of San Jose as a city. A lot of the people we talked to at the beginning said, well, if it's not in San Francisco, it won't happen. And we were trying to get through to people that more people lived in San Jose than San Francisco. More sports fans, hardcore sports fans, lived in San Jose. Which was ultimately recognized by the NHL as they awarded San Jose with an expansion bid. However, the owners picked to run the franchise were not the ones that Han had associated himself with. It's hard to even imagine this right now, but Randy was not even chosen as the team's first television broadcaster. That hurt. I mean, I had been involved with the process for several years from the very beginning at the House of Pizza. But then shortly after that, I found out that while I wasn't going to be the primary guy, I was going to get to do some games. So in the end, it all worked out. As Randy became the team's fill-in voice, Drew Remenda began the Sharks' first season as an assistant coach. Our first year was uh, brand new and exciting and wonderful. We thought it was neat that the fans cheered the Zamboni. Um, but we weren't very good. We knew we weren't going to be very good. Current general manager Doug Wilson played for Remenda and served as the Sharks' very first captain. A lot of the guys that were on that team that first year um, wasn't the most talented team, but they took time to make a great connection with the fans and um, they'd leave everything on the ice, they'd work really hard, and there was really only one chance to make a great first impression. Calling the Cow Palace home, the Bay Area's newest team had some growing pains. I remember one particular game we lost to Pittsburgh, about eight nothing. We're walking off off the off the ice, and the fans were all giving us standing, giving us a standing ovation. And I looked up and I went, "Geez, that's pretty nice of them." After a while, the fans uh, they started to expect more, and we didn't we didn't really deliver more really in the early years. This was a, a hockey arena unlike any other in the NHL. And, I mean, just the name itself, Welcome to the Cow Palace. What? Where are we, and why is a hockey game here? Break it right and he shoots it Oh, what a bonanza! It's far more romantic now than it was actually to try and broadcast and play games out of there, but it had a certain charm about it back then, too. Fast forward 20 years in time where the San Jose franchise has built something incredible upon those early foundations. Ryan won the President's Trophy, reached the Conference Finals, but more importantly, are regular contenders for the Stanley Cup. So is there any way the next 20 years can match what's already happened in the last two decades? Oh, it's going to exceed it. I mean, I think the foundation's in place. You know, we're considered one of the top teams in the league. We want to push through to the next level. To think back to the moments when we were putting the whole thing together and handing out flyers, trying to convince people that hockey would work in San Jose, to see that come all the way to this team. And every season doesn't turn out, but there's always eternal hope for the next one.